Hello and welcome to Multiversital. My name is Jake Long and I hope you're all having a wonderful holiday season. Today's video is about an idea for a Justice League movie in the new Phase 1 of the DCU. Now I don't know if they will call it Phase 1 or what they will call it, how they will release their plan for their movies, but I'm going to call it Phase 1 to organize it for my purposes. Now I already had one Justice League movie idea, but that doesn't work without the Snyderverse characters meeting the new DCU characters, so I have this one now. While I am still mourning the loss of Henry Cavill as Superman, as I'm sure many of you are as well, I'm still going ahead and coming up with ideas for these movies. The slate of movies that I laid out in my last video included Superman, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, Batman, Flash, and then Justice League. The movie would pick up at the end of the Flash movie, where Flash makes a world-threatening discovery just after he has parted ways with Batman. He is out going for a run around the world because he can, and he sees something entering the atmosphere. He calls Batman back with the emergency communication device that he just got from him, and Flash follows the object's trajectory and finds that it is a spaceship. It lands just outside of Egypt. Flash super speeds and rescues the two passengers, Hawk Girl and Green Lantern. Batman is there, and Flash asks him how he got there so fast, and then remembers Batman's satellites. He must have already been on his way. Green Lantern and Hawk Girl explained that they were on their way back to Earth from Thanagar when they got attacked by a ship full of unknown aliens who were seemingly possessed with rage. Hawk Girl recognized that they might be possessed by a legendary creature known as Mageddon. They were headed to Egypt so that she could find the plans to build a weapon that was once used against Mageddon by her people to save a different planet. The four of them go to search for the plans while Hawk Girl explains the destructive capability of the creature. She tells them of its telepathic nature and how it starts an invasion by accentuating the dark nature within a planet's inhabitants. They need the weapon so that they can go back and try to save the other planet. Batman asks, how do you know if Mageddon hasn't already infected one of you two? Hawk Girl explains that if the creature is millions of miles away, hosts can only infect other beings through physical touch. Just as they are about to discover the plans, one of the aliens from the other ship shows up and destroys the plans. They all avoid getting touched by the alien. Green Lantern puts him in a green light prison, and they bring him to a building in Metropolis that Batman owns. Superman and Martian Manhunter meet them there. Martian Manhunter telepathically expels Mageddon's presence from the alien, but there is still a chance that the creature will come to Earth, but it is unlikely since the alien didn't touch any of them. However, unbeknownst to them, the alien did shake hands with a local resident. They organize a small group consisting of Green Lantern, Hawk Girl, and Martian Manhunter to go and meet up with the Green Lantern Corps to go and help that other planet. Unfortunately, Thanagar doesn't have the plans for that weapon either as they were destroyed during the events of the Green Lantern movie. Meanwhile, Lex Luthor shows up in Egypt the next day to investigate the crash landing. Lately, white-collar crimes have been keeping him busy, and he has been avoiding anything that will tarnish his reputation in his future bid for president. I think I had him as president in the Superman movie, but I think it would be better if we save that for later. For now, he is just trying to be a generous, philanthropic, and driven businessman, at least on the surface. One of his many interests, however, are aliens. He is obsessed with finding out more about Superman as always, and he can't resist personally investigating a crash in Egypt. The government covers it up, even though the public knows that there is at least one alien flying around and protecting them. So, of course, Mageddon's presence has been spreading quickly and is drawn toward Lex Luthor. After he is infected, Lex Luthor becomes less worried about the long game of crime and more interested in quick world-dominating results. He goes back to Metropolis and organizes a team of criminals. This is the Injustice League, of course, but I don't think they should be called that. One of the criminals could say it as a joke for the movie, though. 
Anyway, Lex's team would be made up of himself, Two-Face, who's the current big gang boss in Gotham, Cersei, and Catwoman. We'll also add in a couple of heavy hitters, like Ultra Humanite, Livewire, Bizarro, Parasite, or Giganta. We could have the Joker in there, but I think it might be kind of fun to show him angry about not getting recruited and maybe have them team up in the future. There's one final member of Lex's team, and he is discovered and recruited by Two-Face. His name is Prometheus, and he is kind of like DC's version of Taskmaster, which gives DC an opportunity to outshine Marvel. Taskmaster was kind of cool in Black Widow, but could have been much better. Anyway, Two-Face likes this guy because his origin is almost the opposite of Batman's. Prometheus's parents were criminals who were gunned down by the police in a shootout. By the way, Two-Face knows Bruce Wayne is Batman, but he flipped a coin and decided that he wouldn't tell anyone else. The level of crazy in Gotham is just astounding. From here, things start to escalate with the Injustice League executing various strikes around the country. The superheroes unite to fight them and end up forming the Justice League. As you can see, this is a different and sort of odd approach since the Injustice League is formed before the Justice League in this movie, even though many of the members of Justice League already knew each other, they just hadn't formed a team yet. Then they would use Batman's building in Metropolis as their watchtower. An orbiting space station would also be really cool, so I'm still debating on which direction to go. Prometheus would find the watchtower, infiltrate it, and weaken the League, nearly killing them. Mageddon invades Earth not long after. And that is the premise for the Justice League movie. Anyway though, that is all for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe for more similar videos. Leave a comment below if you feel so inclined, and thanks for watching. Take care. Am I blue? Am I blue? Ain't these tears in my eyes telling you?